Okay, I want to make this video so that uh, we can have a look at um, how we get started with the OTRS. Um, now, if you um, if you log into OTRS now, you should have an admin um, menu, a uh, drop-down menu. Now, that wasn't there a little while ago, and I'm going to show you why it wasn't. Um, it wasn't there a little while ago because somehow, I don't know, inadvertently, or if somebody had changed things, so somehow in the groups menu, um, the, these these um, checkboxes had been turned off for most of us. And so as a result of that, we didn't have uh, read-write permission for admin. So uh, each person who wants to create new users, create new customers, uh, create new agents, they have to have admin permissions. And so we've gone back. I want to say we, uh, Robert and I, have gone back and made sure that everybody has that. Um, so uh, if you'll, so that everybody now, so you could do that and you could mess us up by going in there and turning those off for people. So please don't do that and please don't let your students do that because um, so, that will cause us pain. Okay, so once we've got our agent permission, what we can do is we can create new agents. They would be our students. So how would we do that? We'd go to the agents menu and we'd add an agent. Uh, how I add the agents is I just take the name from my list. I'm looking at my list now. I've got Muhammad Ibrahim Abidani. So I'm just going to say Muhammad. Um, wasn't looking when I was talking. Muhammad. Uh, is it two? Or, yes, sometimes they spell with two. Muhammad uh, and Abidani will be fine. Abidani? Abidini. Italian name. And now for the username, I use their student number. So it's 196422. And password, I give them all the same password to start with 1, 2, class 4, and they can change it afterwards. The email address, I'm going to use their student number. 196422. Um, and then at CNA. And that's it. We've got ourselves a um, an agent. Now, what we need to do is we do need to give them some permissions. Uh, otherwise, they're not going to be able to create anything. So that does expose us to that danger that I just referred to. So they could go and take away your permissions, and then you wouldn't be in. So I don't know how you're going to go about that. Um, the bottom line of that is if that did happen and we couldn't all get in, and Robert would have to sort of um, rebuild the system, and then we'd lose all our data. All right, so we've got that student on there. I have another student that I did before. Um, that then if we want to make a ticket, we actually have to have a customer to, to work with that ticket. Now, we can, um, we can create a customer using customer administration. Uh, I've got a customer that I created there. I have it. Uh, so uh, that's just uh, we give them their name, uh, save it from that. And um, then once we have that customer created, we can go to the customer user administration and we need to add the customer um, as a user, customer user. And so how we do that is, um, so this is, um, uh, this is Muhammad, Muhammad Abidani, Abidini, and the username was uh, 600, oh, sorry, 6096, can I see it there? Yeah, 696422, um, and password, 124, email, 6096422, and we see that email is there. The customer ID, I'm going to take that customer ID and save it. So now we have a customer from which we can now uh, we can create a ticket and so we can go into our tickets now go ahead and do that. We do a new email ticket or a new phone ticket. Uh, let's say we do a new phone ticket. Um, so the customer user at this point you need to use their user ID 600 and so when I start typing that all the valid users that have that have user IDs that start with that, get them. Uh, now we need a queue. Now I've created a queue 
um, for my section, but there are other cues there which are, for example, there's a raw cue, there's a junk cue. I don't know why these don't come up, but there are raw, junk, uh, missile, MISC, and postmaster. Um, I'll show you in a second how to create uh, a queue. Uh, so um, let's let me choose my queue there, which was uh, this one here, my section, and um, subject is well, whatever. You, you can put some stuff there, and because uh, we don't want it, you don't want to watch me typing slowly. And um, go ahead and create, and you can change the priority. And then when we go in the tickets. We should be able to see uh, that ticket is there uh, in the status view, and that's kind of kind of it. I'm going to stop recording at that point, right? So.